Uh, can I just begin um, by addressing the comments of Senator Martin, and that is that freedom of speech is not an unqualified absolute right. It has to be qualified. It has to ha operate within rules of responsibility. And some of those are those that are enshrined in the Constitution and in the actions and operations of this House for the benefit of the separation of powers and for the ease of separation of powers. Um, I, I, I came in this morning just though to highlight, uh, we had a Disability Matters Committee, Joint Rockers Committee this morning, which was just fantastic because it was on the subject of the participation of people with disabilities in political, cultural, community and public life. And we heard directly from the lived experience of people um, and their exclusion, no matter how well intentioned or thoughtful or whatever our actions, we heard about how by default we end up excluding. And, it, and the big message for me that came out of the meeting this morning was, no matter what we think of, no matter what we do, no matter what action, particularly in the context, we had a, a, a Mr. Joe McGrath, you know, speaking on the national platform uh, of self-advocates, and he was representing um, people with intellectual disabilities, and he talked about just even literature for elections, you know, the, the access to information about candidates, the access to manifestos, how, and last week I spoke about the the um, ESRI report commissioned by the NDA uh, on, on exclusion, on access to education, the risk of poverty, you know, literacy, digital literacy and accesses to all those means. And if we accept that last week, then hearing um, Mr. McGrath's comments this morning to say, well, if people with disabilities are going to be more likely to be in poverty, then they're not going to have access to social media and digital skills and literacy. In, and if we accept all of that, then the first thing we've got to do before we think about doing anything Thing, is go to the representatives, go to the lived experience and ask them what they want us to do, not what we think they should be doing. And it really brings home the whole, the whole, um, the whole point of the Disability Matters Committee, apart from the, the, the UN and all that, but is that nothing, uh, nothing about us without us, that we need to really remember that. And as, as people, public representatives, we really need to bow to that first and foremost in all of our actions. Thank you. Thank you, Senator.